Imagine powering your entire home, workshop or even an off-grid cabin with batteries. Sounds great, right? But here's a real question. Should you buy these batteries yourself or just buy them ready-made? I'm Nick. I've built several batteries myself and today we're diving deep into the world of battery economics. In a previous video, I explored why lithium iron phosphate batteries are revolutionizing the way we store energy, outclassing traditional lead acid batteries. But now we're comparing the details of assembling your own lithium cell battery versus buying a pre-built one. The last one might surprise you. Stay with me until the end, as I'll not only break down the cost for three different batteries, but I'll also reveal my personal favorite suppliers for quality lithium iron phosphate cells. In our examination of a small 1.2 kWh battery, I've secured a quote for four 100 amp hour cells for $148, including tax and shipping. This cost efficiency is due to the cells being dispatched from a US warehouse. Adding a 120 amp BMS from a reputable supplier priced at $185 brings our total expenditure to $306 for a complete 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. However, I've identified a pre-assembled 12 volt 100 amp hour battery available for $250 from a reputable seller. Considering these figures, the cost benefit of DIY assembly for a small battery is marginal, leading to the conclusion that for small scale applications, purchasing a pre-assembled unit is more economical. Moving to a medium sized 5 kilowatt hour battery, specifically a server rack model, we find a different scenario. Utilizing the earlier quote, the cost for 16 cells required to achieve a 48 volt battery amounts to $592. Adding a 100 amp BMS from Overkill Solar at $173, the total DIY cost is $765. In contrast, a similar capacity server rack from a leading brand is priced at $1260. This results in a substantial savings of $495 when opting for a DIY approach. Such savings underscore the cost effectiveness of DIY solutions for medium scale battery systems. For a large scale 100 kilowatt hour battery, our analysis become even more compelling. Working with 280 amp hour cells, each offering 900 watt hours of power, we calculate the need for 112 cells to construct 7 48 volt battery packs. The cells, priced at $105 each, lead to a total of $11,760. Additionally, 7 100 amp BMS units suitable for this configuration totals $1,211. Therefore, the complete DIY setup cost is approximately $13,000. Comparatively, acquiring the equivalent power through pre-built server rack batteries, each providing 5.1 kilowatt hour, requires an investment of $25,200 for 20 units. This demonstrates a significant cost reduction of $12,229 when opting for a DIY approach for large-scale battery systems. All right, let's put our findings under the microscope. It's time for a battery showdown. We're comparing three different scales of batteries to see how size impacts cost effectiveness. For the small 1.2 kilowatt hour battery, the DIY route costs $255 per kilowatt hour, while buying is slightly cheaper at $208 per kilowatt hour. Jumping to the 5 kilowatt hour medium battery, DIY drops significantly to $153 per kilowatt hour, compared to $252 per kilowatt hour if you buy it. And here's the game changer, the large 100 kilowatt hour battery. DIYing this giant costs only $130 per kilowatt hour, while buying increases to $252 per kilowatt hour. The larger the battery, the more you save. Now let's take a step back and consider the options. I've sourced the market for server rack batteries. Some are pricier, others less. 
but the one I've chosen to compare strikes a perfect balance between quality and cost. When it comes to housing the batteries, you have several options. A 6 slot server rack from EG4 for instance costs $550, which is about $18 per kilowatt hour. For a battery shelf, local hardware stores are ideal. I found a 3 tier warehouse shelf for $300, about $7 per kilowatt hour. Ensure that these battery shelves can handle the weight of your battery. Speaking of which, let's talk dimensions and weight. A single 16 cell 280 amp hour 48 volt battery weighs 200 pounds or 19 kilograms. These are the dimensions of such a battery pack. I haven't included fuses, bus bars or battery cables in this comparison. Because most people would like a comparison on the battery itself. Unlike store bought batteries, DIY batteries don't come with a warranty after initial delivery. Any issues that arise post assembly will be your responsibility to fix, which could involve additional cost and time. Building a battery from scratch is time consuming. This isn't just about the assembly process. It includes the time spent researching, sourcing components, building and troubleshooting. Time spent on building the battery is time you could have used elsewhere. Constructing a battery pack isn't a beginner's task. It requires a good understanding of electrical systems, battery chemistry and safety protocols. Without this knowledge, you risk creating a system that's inefficient or worse, dangerous. You will need specific tools for assembling a battery pack, including a hydraulic crimper, multimeter and more, depending on the complexity of your build. These tools have an additional investment. I use this hydraulic crimper myself and it does a great job. Initially, balancing might not be necessary, as the cells are matched for internal resistance. However, it's crucial to monitor for imbalances, especially when the battery is fully charged. Regular checks, using a BMS app, can help you maintain the health and efficiency of your battery pack. And now, my trusted suppliers. These are my recommended cell suppliers with warehouses in the US and the EU. I bought my first 100 amp hour cells from Dokken Energy. Then I bought my 280 amp hour cells from Kishu. I also ordered a BMS from JBD on Alibaba, but I had a few problems with the BMS and their customer service isn't great. That's why I recommend buying from Overkill Solar. Using the links in the description supports the channel at no extra cost to you. For server racks, Signature Solar is my recommendation. Their focus on off-grid components and customer service is top-notch.